So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And today, guys, I bring you an update on my base, an updated base tour. I am now at a max level base, so I can do literally what I want. Uh, if you guys didn't see my other video, don't worry. I will cover everything today in regards to my design, why I've done it, this, that, and the other. But before we go any further, guys, I am giving away two copies of this amazing game. To be with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. Good luck. Okay, so this is actually based, my base is based at the very start of this game. Literally the very first fast travel point is where you start here. I built up right next to it because where I started, there's plenty of rocks here, plenty of berries, trees. And I thought, you know what, this is like actually a great spot. Now, I know I can create three bases in total, and I've actually got three spaces. I wouldn't say bases, I've got three spaces. I've got one for different, but I've got two like disposable bases that I just pull out in the open world if I want to farm a certain material. But this is my main one, which I'll bring all the stuff back to. So we'll do a guided tour, and we'll start from the left-hand side. Here we have the ranch, obviously. I have those farming pals that I need specific items from. I'll put them in my power box and they'll simply come over here and drop said items for me. So pretty cool. Here guys, we have an unnecessary overly sized container, which I just put there because I got a massive open space. I expanded this, uh, expanded this uh, place, sorry, because uh, I built up above it, which I'll take up there in a quick second. And I needed to fill it with something. And I just thought, you know what, I'll just put this here. Not necessary, just way smaller containers that offer just as much, so yeah. Next to it, guys, we have my egg incubators, and we have eight of them in total. Probably going to build more, to be honest. And we have a box here where I put my spare eggs in. Now, what I actually originally had here, if you watched my first video, I had the mill and the crusher here. But as soon as I built on top, and that's my garden up there, the watering piles would run straight past this, even when they needed work on them. The mill needed to be operated, same as the crusher. The watering piles would run straight past them and go up top. And it wouldn't work. I'm starting to move them. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to put four more egg incubators here. So that's what we've done. And I've extended it a bit further, took it out a bit further. And I've got a, a lot of space I can play around with, which I'm probably going to add more things to, obviously. Okay, so we have here, guys, the brooding pen, which I haven't really used. I'm not going to lie. It just takes ages to make cakes. And it just does my absolute head in. Although I have a, the electric kitchen. Uh, making cakes is still quite long, but yeah, I will eventually use it because a lot I want to experiment with. So yeah, takes up such a big space though, such a big space. Okay, so here guys, we have the high, is it the high quality hot spring? Well, it's a hot spring anyway. Actually, most of my pals spend their time in here. I'm not going to lie. Especially that dude, that dude loves the hot tub. Okay, so we'll go back around this way so I don't have to come back out here. And this is just like spare chests, which I just organize because it's actually just, just where the pals go to. If you notice, there's a container there. They normally take things to the closest container. Or if it's food, which is my garden up there, which I take up there as well, I forgot about that. They'll take it straight down into the food box there. It means these containers that are out of the way from the pals, I don't really come over here. I can arrange and organize as I like. So as you can see, just a few bits and bobs. I do need to go back through it and sort it all out properly, but yeah. You can see what we have here, and that's just like uh, broken armor. There's two bits of wood there. I don't know who's put that wood there, but they're getting sacked. And here we have my power condensation, where I just infuse all my powers, as you do, as you do. Next week, guys, we have the medicine thing, which we need to actually update and make a better version of it. And we have the repair bench. Up here, guys, we have the individual things that add buffs to the power traits. And this, that, and the other. I don't know why I put the cool box up there, but hey, this looks good. So yeah, one uh, that uh, buffs the, the power in regards to watering. That one's mining, that one's handiwork, that one is gardening, that one is logging, and that one is obviously kindling. Okay, so let's take you up into the garden. Let's take you up into my garden. Okay, so come up here. And there we have, guys. My garden, we have uh, plenty of berries because the berries are basically what all the powers live off. So we've got plenty of them. We have here wheat, we have here wheat, and we have here tomato plants, and we have here lettuce. Simple as that, guys. This is my garden. It does not need to be straightened out. I hate the gaps that are uneven, but as long as I can't really see it from down below, it doesn't bother me that much. 
So I don't know what you are watering over there. But if it, if it works, it works. I don't care. Okay, so we have now my main floor. So upon here, we have the lumbroon site where we get that wood. The chest behind are because obviously when there's like a fires and wooden here, as soon as you acquire it, you're over encumbered. So I can simply look at my uh, chest to put it straight into the chest. Same with a stone and a mining. If I acquire this and I'm over encumbered, I can put it straight into this box right here. And then guys, we have the three assembly lines, to be honest. This one doesn't need to be here. I've got to update that and probably put a weapons one there. Um, actually, no, that's a weapons one. Now, this is a production line. There is actually a weapons one. I, I do have to put down. I was thinking about this the other day. It's this one right here. Yeah, I do have to put that one down. This one is not needed because this does everything that one does, but better. Uh, this one here is just a sphere making one which I have, I get enough spheres out in the open world by just farming them. But hey, if I do need spares, or I'm in a rush, I'll get them crafted. I also have the bench still here. Just in case I want two making at the same time, I can just simply uh, produce two. And then guys, we have the high quality workbench also, which I've just kept here because I don't really need the materials for destroying it. We then guys have the mill to create my flower. And then we have the crusher. Down here is a back entrance to the base and I'm about to be raided. And this is something, guys, I can also show you now. I was going to talk about this at the end, but I can show you this now. What you'll see, guys, is that because of where I've built this base and the way I've built it, that you'll see that all of the uh, raiders will come and get lodged in one corner. So it just makes easy work and easy pickings for me. Now, they are normally at a high level, like, what, like 40s, yeah, 40s. So you'll see this all get stuck right in that one corner. Just let them all build up. I could just simply just drop bombs on their head. It's as simple as that. I'm not sure what you're doing there, Wixen, but hey, enjoy your time. So that could all just group up there, just like so. And this happens 99% of the time, unless there's... Um, like the birds that can fly up into the base, but they just literally get stuck at the top wall up there. So yep, yeah, this guy actually ain't that powerful for all of these, but we can see what I mean, guys. Um, I just literally stand here, take them all out, get free loot. It really is that simple. And it seems though there's actually a pal down there. Am I gonna kill it though before trying to capture? Can you actually capture the ones that come for you? But not if you kill him, you can't know. So that's that then. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, guys, just really easy pickings. And it's like this more or less every single time I get ready. See, so you get a couple that spin off. But then they just stand there. You won't even go inside. Too scared. Don't even knock on the door. Don't even knock on the door. Oh, he's knocking on the door. <laughs> this one's a little braver. We had actually do nothing to my base whatsoever. And again, don't know what they're doing there, but it looks like they're having a bit of a dance. But yeah, and see guys now that they just run off, doing their own thing, and there me just pick up all that loot that they've left. Look at the gold. Look at all that. I would chase them, but I can't be bothered. Normally I would, but hey. So yep, there we have it, guys. I've got powers outside of here fighting up. Oh dear, what you think you're doing, mate? Oh, you're having a hard time there, it seems. So give me that loot. Give me that loot. That looks like a few uh, power swords there. Large, nice. Well, yep, guys, simple as that. <laughs> That's another thing about I love about this spot. I haven't got to worry about being raided. In fact, I welcome it. I really do welcome that shiz. Okay, so let me put you away. Okay, so back to where we were. So we've got the three assembly lines. Got my crusher there. And we also have here, guys, my generator in the corner. Now, I actually like these trees in here. I'll just add a little bit of decoration. But I also love this tree there because it blocks a wall I can't put down. I can't put down a full wall. It's doing my absolute head in. It says it's like blocks or something. So I'm glad this tree's here. It hides the generator and hides that gap in the wall. I wish there was a tree there, but hey. So here we have my uh, refined metal chest. We have my furnace here. 
Uh, I've actually just done them as well. Nice to be finding gets. And this is my Power Gear workbench. Yeah, I was confused there for a quick second. Uh, here we have my, I mean, look how long it takes to make those cakes. I know you're, I think you're like a Kindling level two. Yes, you are. But even still, forever. And then guys, we have my fridge. And I'm going to put a couple of things in you. Oh, there we go. Actually, I'll put you there too. Uh, feed box, which is where they just take down all the berries, the lettuce, the wheat and tomatoes. Keep it in there. They can eat it whenever they want. We have my statue of power right there. I could actually use this now because I've got quite a few of these. I'll go around the map collecting them and completely forget about them. There we go. Use them. Up here, guys, we have well, the second level, which is the bedroom. Just like so. Plenty of beds for everybody. I actually built an extra bed just because it, was, it looks odd. We have my bedroom inside of here. I actually need, still need to update my bed. We've got a, a, a toy machine there. And we've got a, a drinks machine there, which looks a bit off center. Oh, well, that's going to have to get moved. A nice table and a bit of decoration. Now, we also have, guys, my defense balcony. So we have, here we go, we have uh, mounted guns. <laughs> And you can actually get up here from the outside as well. So we're actually in the bedroom there. Up both just so you can get to all angles, all levels from every single, well, every possible route. Have every room. And here, guys, we have more. 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 I mean, I'd have to actually assign powers to these. But I still think they look good, just for show. We've got nice lights too. And I think that these look incredible from a distance. The actual, the fires. I was going to put lamps down, but I thought, you know what, the fires just under... The flickering of the flames looks cool with my uh, curtains with my windows and then guys we have another uh place we have this here which i don't know what i'm going to do up here i mean it's massive there's a lot of space here i'm still unsure what i'm going to do here but yeah now you can actually go down this way just like so and go back into the bedroom you can go out this way if you want to and go back onto the mounted weapon balcony pretty cool pretty cool people pretty cool and yeah that's basically an update on my base now i know people will be wondering like they did last time where do you get all your metal from well that's quite simple i'll show you okay so here is my power box and if we fast travel, you can see I have a base right there. This base here, guys, is where I get all my metal and my ore from. Now, I've, I've actually not long... I thought I put all these dudes away, but I clearly didn't. Okay, so they're still here. And what I do, guys, is I just put out miners, put out gatherers, and they basically just get these rocks for me. Now, have they done anything for me? Uh, I got a couple. I think I've, I was here about 10 minutes before... I started recording this video so yeah we are good now what i will say is and i've seen people complain about this as well some people say that they actually don't work for them unless they're in the vicinity i haven't had that problem i mean sometimes i've come here and they're being a little lazy but um i mean that guy's depressed that guy's got a fracture that guy's depressed i should probably change that um so let's have a little look okay so you're depressed you've got a fracture i think you are just miners and gatherers so i'm gonna have to quickly adjust so you're a decent gatherer we'll take you uh, we'll take you doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna come back here after anyway let's quickly add a couple more what else we got uh where are we where are we um do you know what? i'll just put randoms out there we go there we go so yeah this is where i come for my mail as you can see they're all gone off to bed you can see there's loads of rocks here. They constantly respawn. And these guys constantly farm it for me. And I put it straight in this box. And the box is close to the uh, the two forges I've got. So if I can cook two at the same time, if I want to, then I can simply pick them all up, get over encumbered, put them in this box. Then I can move from the box to my fast travel and go back to my base. Now, I also, guys, have another base, if I can remember where that is. Is it up here somewhere? Um... It definitely is where is that other base? i got a third and i think i was getting crystal from it maybe 
Um, I know I've got no pals actually there, so I ain't got to worry about that. Where is that? Is it all the way? Oh, there it is, right there. Jeez, I didn't think it was that far away. It is right at the top. Okay, so I'll go here, guys, and show you what's here. Okay, so we have the coal. That's what this is for. This is just a throwaway base, just to come and farm coal. But yeah, it, simple as that. It's just simple as that. And then I'll take it straight back to my main first base. I actually like where I'm set up, right at home, right here here guys but yes there is an update on my base now what i see how badass that looks up there now i don't know i was gonna make it all in metal but um i actually like the stone look in ones ain't even on but yeah i actually like the stone look but you guys tell me what you think down below do you think i should make it all metal i mean i We'll farm it. I love the I love the farming aspect of this kind of game. So yeah, I may just do that. We will see. But I do like the stone effect. But there we have it, guys. It's an updated version of my base. I am like I said, a max level. There's nothing else for me to achieve in regards to. Uh, see, it's a base level 20. Uh, max pals working at base is 20, and max number of bases is a three. I do hope they update that in the future. I wouldn't mind like between five and ten so I can build throwaway bases at every farming location that I want but yeah just one of them things but there we have it guys let me know your thoughts down below also if you can give me ideas of what I can do up top give me ideas of what I can do up top I just don't know what to do up here I was gonna make another garden but considering the trouble I had with that one and taking work away from the stuff below it oh shit we got eggs to open that's what I forgot. We got eggs to open, people. Oh, eggs to open. And loads of them. We got eight, so let's see what we're going to get. Oh, okay. Salute. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I don't think I've got one of them, you know. Oh, no, I've got one. That's the second one. We have a sweet. A sweet. I might actually hit a level 50 here. Fox Parks was born. Nice. What are you doing? What are you doing, game? Drifting and shit. Now, these four eggs actually got on the same run. Oh, yes. Beacon. What a bird as well. That is such a great bird. And Dazzy. The second one I got out of that. And then, guys, we have a Chilt Hog. Nice and lastly we have another beacon. So there we have it guys. And now I am I don't know if I think I'm max at a level. Is a level 50 max? I think it is now. What should I pull it into? I'm gonna pull it into weight. Can always do with that weight. So I don't know if max level. If I am max level, I really don't know. I really don't know. I know the technology in that goes up to a level 50. But can you unlock things after that? Can you unlock further technology points? Maybe so. I don't know. But yeah. But either or guys, there we have it. Let me know your thoughts down below about my base. How I can improve it. I'm open to ideas. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.